Hi, this is Stephen Ball at Delphia Ball. I'm going to quickly take you through the new feature in FIDAC for working with array fields through Inspace. So let's just go and open up in Rad Studio. I'm going to open up sample projects and I'm going to open up the Object Pascal database FIDAC samples and there's DBMS, which is database specific samples, and for Inspace, there's an arrays demo. So let's go ahead and open up this demo. Now this demo comes with um, two buttons, a, a read and a write, uh, and also an additional button which I've added in here. So I'll explain that one in a moment. Um, first thing you'll need to do is you'll just need to make sure you connect up, just quickly choose the employees database in here. Um, and in the source code, if you just copy this table, uh, create table statement, that's going to create the table that we're going to need to work with the sample. And what you can do is if you just test the connection, make sure that's running OK, uh, and then just in the SQL window here, you can paste that in and execute that. And that will go ahead and create the, the table for you. So let's go ahead and run this sample, and then we'll have a quick look at the code behind. So I'm just going to write the data in, and that's gone ahead then and opened the query afterwards, uh, which is the, the read button here. Uh, it literally calls this button's on-click event. And we can see we've got three columns. We've got an ID column, a name column, and then an items column, which has got an array of fields within it. So this is an array field type, uh, and we can go ahead and we can uh, change the values in here, uh, just as we would with any other field. And I'm just going to go and cl click on this row here, and this is going to fetch back the first element. So here we can see A21, and if we go to the first one, A11. So the, the right here, uh, apart from deleting the current contents of the table, just uses a simple insert statement using parameters for the three fields. But what you do then is you just set up the second parameter, which is the third one, because um, it's a zero-based array. Um, set up the params, and we have to change the data type here to be the table.fieldName. So this is our table and our field name. And we then use the array type of table, not of array. Uh, this must be set to table because it treats it like a table. And then we set the size of the array. So here we're going to say this parameter's array size is four elements. And we then go ahead and populate the data. So we just got a simple for loop looping through from 1 to 5, setting up the ID, the string, which is AAA plus the uh, ID string, and then just setting up the as strings. So we set the parameter as strings. So we set the elements in the array. Now this is 4 in size, uh, and that's how the data is populated through. Now to read the data back, we're able to use um, here quickly uh, field by name, just to get the field back. And I know it's going to be an array field, and uh, you could check the field type um, to then typecast it. I've just done that all in one line here. And then we're just going to say, okay, the value is the field values, and then uh, you pass in the ID for the value that you want returned back. Uh, and then I've just done a variant to string here to convert the variant value returned into the string that I know it is. So just simple use of variants and the T array field to, to get the data back out and work with specific fields if you need to. Or say you can just connect up, this is just a simple um, TDB grid connected up using uh, a traditional data source and query.